superstar tight end. There's been no shortage of work for him, sitting second in the league in catches. It's the Pats and the Eagles, and it's all up next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I Two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by the former Michigan State QB, a starter here in his rookie campaign. Well, the silver lining from last week, he played phenomenally, kept the ball clean, and led them to the end zone several times. You know these NFL quarterbacks, though, they trade away all those touchdowns if it meant getting the win. That's his focus this week. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Second and 14. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Two plays so far, run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Christian Barmore, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Taking on the midfield logo. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. And that's really good field position they were given. Now, nothing's a gimme. We know that. But I know his goal had the field goal kicker just stay on the bench. They want to put it in the end zone and get six out of this one. If they don't, I think it'll feel like a disappointment. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Whether it's the toss or the pitch, you get him the ball outside the tackles on the edge. He's a tough man to bring down. He certainly is, and it makes people wonder on the other side of the ball. Do I really want to deal with him when he gets a full head of steam? And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's been very impactful when using his legs this year, both when the pocket breaks down and by design. You notice his name sits near the top when looking at the league leaders in rushing yards by a quarterback. Go. 
Now a play fake here on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Up the middle they go. It's Benson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> good run there. Here we go on second and 12. Finding Williams once more, complete. So the completion good for just three. And that's gonna set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. And he goes down, it's a Patriot sack. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack and it's gonna lead him to fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Gets around him. There he goes up the right sideline. Off to the races. Moving inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. On play action, they'll throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Now you look at this Patriots defense, and they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. This secondary has really developed into one of the strengths of this team. They diagnose, they cover, they run, they hit. What a nice team. Under pressure, and down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. 
And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Yeah, able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Second and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. 139 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. A nice little juke. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Now a toss here, short side. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The Patriots at 6-1 and one now through seven weeks of the season. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets them into a third and one situation. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they get five there on third and two. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Pats have moved out in front by three touchdowns Elliott good with a PAT and that makes the score 21 to zip so that one an eight play drive it spans 75 yards and the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone the kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line Philadelphia getting set to take the field well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession when they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Now a handoff up the middle. Shipley. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. 
And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. The Patriots offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And we give you a look there at the league leaders in receiving touchdowns. You can see he's second best amongst NFL running backs at this point in the season. The Pats at the line ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Right back to him on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now a toss here, short side. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 241 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Two yards, good enough for first. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They'll try to run this one in. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. A great effort there. On his way to a historic performance, four first-half touchdowns. And the Patriots are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Elliott on for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Inside the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Patriot defense has a touchdown. 
Well, no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level, and they can change a game at a moment's notice. Elliott good on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. Things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and four. They'll look to throw. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And they'll send Williams in motion right. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Cup Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And with a well-placed kickoff, that's what these new rules can do for you as he'll be backed up to start this drive. The Patriots offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a real threat in the red zone and beyond. As you take a look at the NFL leaders in rushing touchdowns by a QB, you'll notice he's worked his way into the top five at this point in the season. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll rifle this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. And now off to the races down the right side. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Motion man left, Peoples-Jones. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he stopped immediately there. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose 
that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Up the middle they go. Benson. Ooh, what a move. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as they take this up to about the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First down. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. Get to the end zone. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now a give right side. It's Benson, and he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the team. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember, last drive was that one play touchdown strike, so now they're looking to make it three for three. You know, I talked to a Hall of Famer one time about, hey, when you're on defense and these types of things are happening to you, what goes through your mind? And he told me at that point, it's not about schemes. It's not about what's called from the sideline. It's about players. Who's going to make a play, make a stand, and stop this offense from doing what they've been doing? And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They'll look to throw now on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. And that is incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. He'll look to throw, sliding out of the pocket. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown. New England, a great play there with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points.
Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're, they're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. But the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point. And on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is don't quit competing. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Benson, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. That's good for Eagles, first down. On the ground, this is Williams. And that one never got off the ground. He's going to be stopped up well behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. In motion right, that's Williams. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Well, had a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. A coverage sack took too long to get rid of it. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And they will take over first and ten. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Things have certainly gone their way in this one, largely thanks to the efforts of their running game. As we scroll through some of these highlights, this has been a master class on how to run the football. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass down. There he goes, right side. That all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. A dynamo since the break. Three third quarter touchdowns and the Patriots are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter Elliot on for the extra point And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two.
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll set up to throw. Flushed out right. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot, of, a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, really we, enjoy. We, share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but <laughs> in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's gonna be hard to parse Who's going to win the MVP? Yeah, it really is. It's going to be a runner. Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. Now a toss here, short side. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Now a first carry here for the running back. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. 22 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead, and it's looking... streak is going to extend another week. Elliott now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away.
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Again, he'll drop to throw. Escapes the sack. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. They'll look to throw here. Under pressure, they got him again. N'Kobe Dean picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And he's going to go down again. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pull it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would have, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. He takes it to the 15. A nice display of power. And it gives him a nice pickup. Even with the good gain, I thought they might accept that one. Yeah, you thought maybe they'd go with the downs as opposed to the yardage. So if you're taking the yardage now, second and less than five, that tells me you feel good about how your offense is working. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. 
And that now six rushing touchdowns for him. And that ties him with Alvin Kamara, who on Christmas Day of 2020 also went for six touchdowns. And this is quickly turning into one of the great individual performances in NFL history. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. They go play action here on first down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now back to throw. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Well, it's obvious, but I can't help but say it here. It's never a good day when the opposing defense has more sacks than you have points. The win seems likely, but this defense is still playing for something here. They see that zero on the scoreboard, and they don't want that to change. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. And he's able to get it out of there. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. They said their goal was to win seven games. They've done that pretty early in the year. I think it's time for them to elevate that number and really make a big push to finish this season strong. 